Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best paper shredders. Starting at number 5. Aurora High Security. The microcut shredding capabilities of this model, combined with the power to rend CDs and credit cards, make it a great option if you prioritize maximum security. It can shred continuously for 12 minutes, though it requires a 40-minute cooldown time if it overheats. However, it automatically powers off after 5 minutes, saving energy and thus reducing the chance of damage. The pull-out waste bin has a window to check when it's nearly full, but the shredder also has LED notifications that alert you for things like when there's a paper jam. We're also big fans of the 5-year warranty on the cutting cylinders and the 1-year plan for the rest of the components. Coming at number 4. Fellows LX2 2020. This Fellows model has a sleek design and the impressive performance to match. It micro shreds 20 sheets into tiny particles with ease offering more security than a crosscut shredder. Its 8 gallon bin holds up to 750 shredded sheets of paper before it needs to be emptied and pulls out from the side, preferable over those that require you to lift the shredder off the bin and empty from the top. It also has a safety feature that pauses if it senses hands are too close to the blades and automatically resumes when the coast is clear. LED lights notify when the bin is almost full and when it's about to finish its runtime. It's one of the quieter options out there, with a noise level of about 50 decibels, comparable to the hum of a refrigerator. It can't shred CDs but can handle paper clips, staples, and credit cards. At number 3. Bonson 16 Sheet This Bonson has a relatively small capacity but features that rival higher-end models. It shreds paper, credit cards, and staples into micro-confetti-sized pieces to ensure documents are beyond resurrection and boasts AP5 rating. It has a simple control panel with just three buttons, power, forward, reverse. It also has LED indicators to alert you if it's overheating, it's overloaded, the bin is full, or the bin is out. There's a learning curve in figuring which issue each indicator is referencing, but it's a user-friendly experience overall. The bin pulls out and fills a bit less slowly since the confetti pieces take up less room. There's also a window on the front to give you an idea of when to empty it. Number 2 of my list. Amazon Basics 8. This shredder looks similar to our top pick, but didn't impress us nearly as much. That said, at such a low price point, our complaints are admissible. It's solid enough for those who want a machine that can shred the occasional batch of papers and won't take up room under your desk. It doesn't have wheels, but, it being only 8 pounds, we didn't really miss them when moving it around. The resulting pieces were closer to what you expect from crosscut shredders. It jammed up on us a couple of times, but was easy to clear and continue shredding. We were able to shred seven sheets continuously, but not the claimed eight. Still, it achieved shredding at the rate of one sheet per second and is only slightly louder than the 24-sheet model above. It's good for handling light jobs around your home and office. And number one. Amazon Basics 24. Admittedly, this Amazon paper shredder impressed us more than we expected. It shredded a stack of 28 papers and worked the entire runtime promised by the product description, a full 40 minutes without overheating. It's a cross-cut shredder, but the resulting pieces are considerably smaller than other similar models. It cut 24 sheets down to 4 by 30 mm pieces in just under 14 seconds. The output is relatively quiet as we measured its noise level at 70 decibels, about the same as a standard washing machine or dishwasher. We didn't shred cardboard during testing and recommend you stick to what the manufacturer instructions say. But it's worth noting this exact model is touted as a cardboard shredding beast on Reddit and is great for composting. It's likely overkill for the average home office, and it doesn't come cheap. But it offers solid performance all around. The only caveat is that the pullout bin is a bit awkward and messy to clean up. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.